Greetings, Pantreaty families. Mr. Hal here, welcoming you to our back to school night of the 2021 2022 school year. Tonight, I'm going to talk to you about Title I, our school plan, our parent and school compact. Oh, I'm going to be looking at my notes because I want to make sure that I don't miss anything. Important policies, our clubs and sports, and some basic information. I'll start with our mission. At Penn Treaty School, we are devoted to supporting the academic and social emotional outcome of every one of our students. We want all of our students to join the pack. Joining the pack means that our students are present, active, cooperative, and kind. Our school day begins at 7.30 a.m. and ends at 2.34 p.m. Our uniform consists of khaki or black pants, and a collared shirt that is either gray, green, or black. We ask that you do not send your child to school in jeans, stretch pants, or short skirts or shorts that do not reach the knee. Some important policies that you should be aware of. First, attendance. Um, if a child misses three consecutive school days, they will need a doctor's note upon their return to school. Latenesses. They're important too. They add up, they're cumulative. And if a child is late often or misses uh, classes because of cuts, those cuts and latenesses add up and they will equal missed days. So make sure that your child is on time and we'll communicate with you if there are any issues regarding cutting. Um, our cell phone policy has changed. We do allow cell phones in the building. We are not collecting them but every student has their own personal private locker and their phone should be in their locker. So if you allow your child to have a phone, make sure that they're locking up every day. If they're not and they're on it when they should have it away, we will be contacting you. At Penn Treaty, we also take bullying and harassment very seriously. We have a protocol in place to ensure that all students' needs are met. We have contact people and a system in which students can report any instances of bullying and harassment, and we will act, we will investigate, and we will always report back to you. We have clubs and sports here at Penn Treaty. Our sports include basketball for both boys and girls. Oh, and these are for high school. Bowling, cheerleading, softball, and track and field. In middle school, we offer football. Now, please know for high school students, we partner up with the Kensington schools, uh, the Kensington high schools, and students may play for any of the Kensington teams that we do not offer. If you have any questions about this, you can email Mrs. Forte. Her email is A Forte. It's right here on the screen, A Forte at philsd.org. Or she's actually on right now. You can go to Google Meet PT Forte. As far as after school clubs, we have LULAC and Education Works. And if you need an explanation of those, you should contact Miss Nielsen. She's our middle school counselor. Her email is K N E I L S O N at philasd.org. And she's also on Google Meet right now if you log into PT Nielsen. Now I'm going to talk to you about Title I. What is Title I? Well, Title I basically is money that we are given by the federal government or the school is given by the federal government that's based on need. It's what we use to help provide the extras to make our school successful so we can make your children successful. Each year, we need your help in developing the following. The parent and family engagement policy, the school parent compact, our school-wide plan, and our school's budget. There's a district-wide engagement policy, and the school district is always looking for your input or the input of our parents and families. If you're interested, reach out to the FACE office. The information is provided on this screen. There's also the school-based parent and family engagement policy. 
It discusses how we involve parents in the process of school review and improvement. It discusses how we will provide the necessary technical assistance to parent and, and that support they need to improve student achievement. We help build parent capacity for strong parental involvement. And uh, it's basically is just all built on how we need you as our partners to help make our kids successful. The parent and school compact, what that is, it's, it's a compact that states the goals and responsibilities of the school in providing a quality education to all students and it also states the responsibility of the school and the parents in regard to these responsibilities in making, in making kids successful. Um, we have a Title I designation. Um, if you read the slide that's up now, you'll see that schools are either comprehensive support or additional targeted support. Additional targeted support is the one that that is our designation, and it just means that the um, we are provided with additional services and supports to help make the school successful, but not as broad or overreaching as the, the schools that are CSI or comprehensive support. Um, just a quick side note, if you're sitting there wondering, hey, I don't know what all this means, if you logged on to PT help desk or just called the school, emailed me or came up to the school, I will explain it all and make it all very clear. Um, our school-wide plan is a roadmap to academic success. It details where we are as a school, where we want to be as far as our goals as in regarding to achievement and attendance and all of the all of the data points that we build goals around, and of course, how we're gonna get there. I'm not gonna talk through this slide, but you'll see that our school-wide achievement scores are um, in need of improvement. ELA stands for English Language Arts, and these are our middle school scores. Up now are the high school scores. So we use these scores as our, as our baseline to develop goals and then plans to meet these goals to ensure student success academically. Again, here's further data. Again, this is, this is based on PSSA and Keystone data of English, math, and science scores in both middle and high school. Our school-wide plan, Penn Treaty strives to provide a quality, excellent education for all of our students. We work, on we work on instruction daily. Equally important to us is that your child feels safe, welcomed, and happy to be in school. We strive daily to create an environment where your child can thrive. And further, our school-wide plan, again, it's based on our academic goals. It's student-centered. It involves teachers teaching standard or, or common core standards aligned uh, lessons. And then the teachers monitor student progress and their data and teach accordingly. So to sum up what I just, uh, what's on the screen, we want our kids to own their own learning. We make sure our teachers are teaching lessons that are great appropriate and aligned to the common core standards. And we use data to drive our instruction. Um, some other things that uh, we make sure our, our children feel safe. We try to eliminate bullying and we start with relationships with everything we do. We have strong personal relationships with all of our students and we are very uh, um, systematic about making sure that happens. Some other, some other um, approaches that we use, we have a school-wide building, pro, a school-wide uh, building writers program. 
We use our Title I funds to purchase additional teachers to reduce class size. I can assure you that if your child attends Penn Treaty, that they're probably in a class or they're the class size of their um, uh, English, math, and science classes are very small. We use Renaissance Learning and Star Testing to support learning. We have great, great, uh, we have credit recovery for our students in the high school who fall behind. We have two climate managers to support that all of our students feel safe. Um, we have a dedicated council. We have dedicated counselors in both middle school and high school to meet the needs of all of our students, and we work with partner agencies to to ensure that all of uh, um, students' social emotional needs are met. Um, now I'm going to get into the budget, and what happens our our, our, our budget happens each year, and our Title I expenditures uh, support our, our core academic program to ensure a well-rounded education, and they are all aligned to our school-wide plan. Money is set aside each year for parent and family engagement, and if you're wondering how that money is spent, well, we need your input. And again, if you log on to PT Help Desk, P.T. Nielsen, you can give your name to the folks that are working those, those, uh, those um, uh, Google Meets, and we'll make sure that you're invited to all the meetings. But we have monthly meetings where we bring in uh, family members, parents, family, et cetera, to get your input on, on how we're doing and how we should use these funds. Okay, now I want to talk to you about how we plan on, or how we have spent um, our Title I money, and how we plan on spending uh, this year's funds. Well, as far as the, the Title I money that we get for our budget, we buy counselors, climate managers, and teachers to reduce class size. That's all in an effort to make sure that every one of our kids feels connected, they feel safe, they feel welcome, they have small classes so they could achieve and thrive. And as far as our parent funds, what we've done in the past pre-COVID was we sponsored a trip to a nearby university. We went to LaSalle University a couple years ago with students and parents. It was a big hit. We plan on doing it again. We were shut down and it was halted because of COVID. But as long as a nearby university, we're hoping Westchester University this year, we've been in talks in the past and we're hoping that we are allowed onto their campus so if all goes well we will be using this year's funds to sponsor a trip to westchester university for you and your child so you can get a feel for what life is like on a college campus again we have our parent engagement activities we do monthly um sac meetings that you will be notified about we'll do parent calls we send newsletters home, but we do want your input. We want you to come in for our SAC meetings. Okay, now I'm gonna to talk to you about teacher and paraprofessional qualifications. Um, and according to uh, you know PA law, all of our teachers must be certified. They have to pass an exam. If the teachers are not qualified or certified, you will be notified currently at Penn Treaty, we're all good, meaning that all of our students, all of our teachers are currently in possession of the certifications they, they need to have. And again, if, uh, if something happened and they were not, you will be notified. A letter will be sent home with your child saying that the teacher is currently either in a program or will be soon uh, certified, but they're not. But right now, all of the teachers at Penn Treaty are appropriately certified. The right to know qualifications. Again, you have the right to request the qualification of a child's teacher. I have all that. And again, you can contact me at any time. My email is showell at philasd.org. And again, we send that right to know letter home, notifying you if your child's teacher is not appropriately state certified. 
All right, our state academic standards and assessments. Again, um, during report card conferences, you'll be made aware of the fact that your child is taking either the PSAs or the Keystones, depending on if he or she is in middle or high school. And you'll be notified of report card conferences. Our school's curriculum, we follow the common course, the common core standards and we use the school district's curriculum engine in conjunction with our materials that are uh, um, um, produced or made by McGraw-Hill and Pearson. McGraw-Hill makes our English stuff. Pearson makes our, our, our um, math stuff, our math materials. And, but we use, again, the Common Core Standards. And again, if you have any questions, we're always available to answer them. And we need you. We need you to learn more about the Title I program. We need you to take advantage of what Title I has to offer. We have a great new uh, parent resource center here at school that you're all welcome to use. We have a basically a room set up for with computers that you are um, that they're, they're they're here for you. So you can either just come up or email me, contact Miss Fine, our high school counselor, or Miss Nielsen, our middle school counselor, and we will be more than happy to arrange for you to come up. Otherwise, you can just visit without a, a call. If you want to get involved, here are the people to contact. Miss Nielsen, K. Nielsen at phila, sd.org. She's our middle school counselor. And Miss Fine is our high school counselor. She's P. Fine at phila, sd.org. And that's it for our presentation. Thank you all for being here. I look forward to seeing you at our monthly SAC meetings.